Hello and welcome to BusyWorksBeats.com. Today we're going to be inspired by Hitboy. We're going to create a hip hop track and uh, we're going to be in FL Studio 21. You will learn some techniques and just how to simplify your workflow. Uh, first up is we're using Serato sample. This does not come with FL, but it's well worth the money if you're a sampler. And we're just going to load in random samples until we get a vibe. I like this because we can kind of deal with that. Let's do now we're the BPM. Let's do somewhere around 85. That will change the way these samples sound. So if it's a little slow, try hitting times two. Okay, so these are going to be great backgrounds. We may turn off the drums, but not yet. Let's just record to the metronome. Okay, so take off loop recording. I didn't realize I was on. Let's do that again. Right, let's turn this on. A lot of my settings got reset ever since my update. Okay. okay, so now let's go to the piano roll. Let's right click, open up the piano roll, hit Alt Q to quantize the notes. Let's hit control Q, hit control L to add legato. Now here I went dun, dun. So it doesn't matter, I'm just moving the note around to quickly hear the note. Let's add these to the playlist. Okay, so we're at 85 BPM. Take control L, send this to the mixer. Now let's find some drum breaks that will give us the similar vibe. These drum breaks are from all over the internet, so there's no one place. I'm trying to find drums that have a matching tone. the snare here let's right click open that up and slice we use my controller but you can also use your typing keyboard if you right click up here go to slice and then make your octave c and four you could use your typing keyboard i'm just going to use my actual midi controller i have plugged up so let's go to the channel rack cut that out the pattern let's hit control l send it to a new mixer insert Okay, so we're gonna just play how we feel and then we'll probably change up little small patterns here and there. Notice I'm not playing boom, 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 boom. This is very velocity based. Hit Alt Q and let's turn the sensitivity up. Start time up. And now what we're gonna do is just listen to the velocity as you go. So anytime the velocity gets offset, we'll fix it manually. All right, so these notes are a little delayed, so we're gonna highlight them all, hit Control A, hit Alt, and left click. Right, now let's 
find some kicks. So you just gotta have a kick that just works. This one just works. So I'm gonna play it by hand, even though it's not a complicated pattern here. It's gonna boom, boom, boom. So just adding little ghost kicks in there to alt Q. Now with my kicks, I'm going to highlight everything except the ghost kicks. Hit control A, hit control shift and left click all of your ghost kicks. And what we'll do here is make sure that they're all deselected or unselected, whatever the proper term is. And okay, so now they're all unselected. Let's hit Alt, left click to restore the velocity of each kick. So now it will make the kicks more linear and it restores all the velocities. So what I'll do instead of nudging the drums to the left to try to fix you know, the timing with the sample, what we'll do is we'll delay the sample so that it fits with the drums. So right now the sample is like a hair before the drums. Let's go to Serato sample, go to the cog icon, go to your wrench tool, turn this up. So that way we don't have to nudge the drums to the right or to the left of it. Now I'm adding organic instruments to add like our own flavor to this. Now we need to make the sample match the tuning of the new instrument we just added. So right now I can tell they're not tuned the same. We can go into Serato sample and use the detune to fix this scent by scent. It's not a whole key change, it's just a fine tuning. Right now in Serato, I'm removing the drums so that we can get a cleaner signal. Potentially, sometimes it sounds better with the drums.
Lightning Snare. Matting in the hi-hat to contrast against the snare. I pulled back the snare volume, it was way too aggressive. Now we need to find a newer snare to add in here. Then we're going to look for a bass in Trillion and add it in here. shows how important tuning is without tuning that to 445 everything sounded out of key
It just needs more energy like hi-hats. Mix this track for some knock. going to try to add some more organic sounds in here. Delayed the kicks by a little bit. Oh, oh, oh. 
thing in here. to swap the snare for this more acoustic snare because it just sounds better for this beat.
guys you will get the project files just go to busyworksbeats.com slash fl studio once you sign up you'll be able to access the project files thank you guys for watching it's game from busyworksbeats.com peace